the sky this morning you can see the moon setting and the sun just rising oh my gosh what a beautiful morning I wanted to wear my pink catnip cap today, but I have no idea where it is. I've got like a pink one that we actually sell in my business catnip and I created this one for a little lemon on. It's a shame because it's pastel pink as well, but I've got greasy hair, so I need to wear a hat. I need to wear a hat. Anyway, hello guys. Welcome to another Cozy Day Diaries. I'm really excited because we've got a few days till we go to Orlando and I'm so excited because I'm going with Victoria, my friend this time and I don't know what it is but there is something different about going with your friends on holiday. I feel like it feels more girly, I want to get my nails done all fresh, I want to pack, I also want to do some shopping to get some essential bits. For those of you who maybe don't know I had a gastric bypass and I lost a lot of weight, I've lost like 130 pounds and I have been buying primarily secondhand clothes but there is some things that I need like essential items like t-shirts, vests and stuff that I would like to get so we're gonna go on a little shopping date together as well and I'll do a little haul if I manage to find anything. However, as you can probably hear, I feel like I'm a little out of breath because I'm actually gonna meet my friends at the park and I thought I would show you kind of the behind the scenes in between travel series. I got back from Canada, what, three days ago now and I am very, very jet lagged but it's such a weird jet lag because Canada is the same time zone difference as Orlando but I've been waking up at like 12 a.m. Canada and Orlando time. It's not even the right time zone for Orlando or Canada, so I don't know what's happened there. Anyway, first of all, I'm gonna go and meet my friends at the park today. It's currently Sunday and I'm back at work tomorrow, but tomorrow, during my lunch break, I wanna get my Disney nails done, so I really wish I could find my catnip cap. I have no idea where it's gone. I don't care where the motor stops, cause when I want it, then I want And luckily the weather was quite nice, it was a bit very cloudy but it was still really nice. But I have decided to go shopping today. The shopping in my area is a little rubbish. Uh, so first off, I think I'm going to nip to Primark and get some bits and also have a look at what PJs have got because I'd like a fresh set of PJs for holiday, do you know what I mean? And also all my old PJs are so baggy and so gross. I've literally still got PJs when I was uh, a size 22 or 24 and I've been wearing them to the death. So I think it's about time we add to the PJ collection. So the weather is so nice. It feels like spring, all the daffodils are out. It just makes me so happy. I just love sunny weather and just nice weather in general where the gloomy winter days are behind us and the lighter nights are beginning. So now the sun doesn't set till at least six o'clock. Oh, so nice. What the heck? We're having a Naruto section in Primark. Oh, this is so cool. Sailor Moon. Oh god, that is too cool. Do I need it? I don't need it, but I love that they've got an anime section. I'm 
ik wil zich nou ook in doen niet doen. little bag charms that you could wear. This is a little Harry Potter one if I was going to Universal, but I'm not going to Universal on this trip. Oh, they've got a little munchling section. <gasps> so cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable for spring. Mike Wazowski. This was a t-shirt, I would buy it. I never know what size of jeans to get because of my loose skin. See, these are a 14, but because of my loose skin, I just don't know what size I am. Like, should I have them baggy? Because when I sit down... You do not want to zoom in that close to my face. I've been at work all day. Why is this so cropped in? I've got a new lens on this camera, by the way. Hang on. Ah, that's better. Yay! I've got a new vlogging lens, which is a lot more lightweight than my original lenses that I used to travel with. It is the Sony F1.8 11mm lens. It's looking really good. It's currently on my ASPC camera. Uh, I normally vlog on a full frame. Earlier in the video, I was vlogging on a full frame camera. Sorry if you don't care about this. But also, speaking of cameras, I've got some new equipment sent to me from Joby. I can't believe they actually sent me some equipment. Tonight's a craft night because I've got a few munchlings and for Disney, I was thinking of making these into keychains. So this is the first one that I've done. Ta-da! While I was at work, I found some jump rings from when I used to hand make uh, earrings. I knew it was a good idea to keep a bunch of craft stuff. Honestly, when it comes to craft supplies, I'm an actual hoarder. I keep it all. I don't know what it is, but this is perfect because now I can get the supplies out and I've got some. But basically at work, what I did was I poked a hole in the little munchling over here and then I put a jump ring in. And then that means I can attach it to like my bags at Disney and I can have different keychains for different like days that match. I don't know, I just think it's a really cute like accessory. These are massive in Japan, like plushy keychains. I feel like they're starting to become a trend over here, which I really like. I think I will take this keychain off this though and just put this chain on here. So I have a bunch of actual keychains that I just keep hung up in this bag. I actually want a nice pretty box to keep them all in. But I got this, if you watch my last Disney series, I got this as part of a mystery box. And because I'm going to Victoria, I said to her, should we do some themed cute days together? And I really want to do like a French themed day where we just stay in the France pavilion. I might Disney bound as well. And I thought this would make a cute keychain. It's Remy and it's got a little ice cream top. And this was like a munchlin and it'll go with my outfit because I actually got a dress from Vintage. Actually, do you know what? Let me show you. Oh, I also bought an air tag, which I've never had before, which I'm going to take to Disney. I think this is a great idea checking cabin and then the pink little tag thing from Amazon. So I ordered this dress of Vinted and it's like grey blue but I realised Remy is actually blue but never mind. I've got this grey blue dress. Look at that. Still got the misguided tags on. I thought that would be cute. Get a cute pink bag. Get this Remy thing. But then watch this. I got this 
gift from Magic Maker Ears. Oh my gosh. Oh, have I brought them home yet? Oh, she's literally sent me two sets of ears, right? First set is this gorgeous, it's so up my street, fluffy pink ears, which I think is so, so cute. But then for the France day, she made me these fluffy Remy ears. Oh, and I've also got some more handmade ears that got sent to me as well. I can't believe how spoiled I've been. Like, thank you so, so much. How cute would this be? Make this into a keychain, wear this, and then that grey dress. I've never really Disney bounded before. Let's get crafting, shall we? I'm gonna turn these into keychains. By the way, this is probably not the best way to do it. If I wasn't being lazy, I would probably unstitch this and like stitch them up and stuff, but I'm being lazy. So I'm just poking a hole, literally poking a hole in the munchlin and then threading, <laughs> threading a jump ring through. Right, let's get crafting, shall we? So these are the two munchlins that I wanna turn into keychains. We've got this spring one. How cute is that gonna be for flower and garden festival? So cute, and then we've got the Remy one. You can kind of tell the difference in quality because this one's got embroidery in and this is actually from Disney. And this one is like printed face. But this one was only £4.50. So this one was like quite a lot more. I think this was like $27. This is the one that I did before. I think this was from Primark too, as you can see there's no embroidery. So we've done that one. So I'm gonna do these two. This is actually really hard to do. <laughs> I'm trying to thread it through. This is probably the hardest. Now I'm gonna take some stuffing out because I feel like the top bit. Oh, this is really satisfying, like popping a spot. <gasps> oh, like pulling the stuffing out. <laughs> this is probably, I've probably got like people who know how to sew and do all that sort of stuff screaming at me to just do it properly, but listen, I can't be bothered. So I'm just gonna do it my way, okay? This is the final result. So we got Minnie with this little clasp on. We got Remy and I've got this old key ring charm. And then we've got Daisy Duck, which I just think looks so cute. This one actually is my favorite. I think this is gonna be so cute for flower and garden. So them are what I'm gonna take to Disney World. Oh, and this little sleepy Mickey. Oh, and the other Mickey as well, the classic. Where are you? Hi, pom pom peering. This one. So you put a little rubber band around the outside and you tie it to your bag. I've still got some energy left in me. So I think I might unbox these now because I am very, very impatient. So Joby kindly, kindly sent me their Joby Camomile. These are called Gorilla Pods. Oh, it's really sturdy. Oh, it's really good quality actually there. It's actually so handy because, whoa, that's way more secure. Actually, I think I bought a knockoff version of this. Sorry, Joby, but I did. And I remember hating it because it was rubbish quality, but obviously because it wasn't the real thing. This is so much better. What a cool design. How how someone designed that? Don't know if you can see, we've got a spirit level, which is really handy for when you want to film. So I've just mounted it to my banister here and it feels so secure. Whoa, that's actually so cool. It's like really secure on there as well. Like I'm really shaking it. <gasps> Oh my God, this is gonna change the game. This is the Joby Wavo mic. And I don't know if you watch any of my previous videos, but I have been using my phone. Say if I'm like far away from the camera and I know the audio is gonna be a bit crappy. Um, I've been using my phone, ooh, to record the audio if I'm far away. Ooh, this is so cool. So I guess that these are the little microphones. Ta-da! Really small. And I'm guessing this right here is the wireless receiver. Now I just need to figure out how the heck you set this up. So I'm guessing these go on the back. What else do you get? Oh, you get some wind muffs. That's very handy. Wind muffs there. Another clasp for your top. Oh, you get some lavalier mics as well. This looks very professional, doesn't it? Like the lavalier mics like this. Hello. But I don't think I'll use these as much as using just these on the own. Um, and I've had these on charge. Can you hear me? It looks like the audio's working, but how good's this? I could do like a little talking sesh. Can you hear me? 
it's like a weird ASMR session uh, but this is going to be really handy because like I can literally walk away from the camera and let me you should be able to hear me still really clearly when I'm over here I can see the audio going up so it seems like it's working can you see me I don't know this is really cool Oh, hi, Dean. Are you getting the chicken for dinner? Be a good bit of travel kit because it's really, really small and I can have the receiver on top and these two. I've been looking at getting like some sort of wireless receiver for a while now, to be honest. Mainly for like sit down talking segments like this. And also it means I can get creative with like my setup or if I've got like one of my big heavy lenses on like this one and I am like sat further away or maybe I could sit on the bed or something like that and I can just get more creative with my shots in general and I'll be able to use this on board mic so a huge thank you to Joby for sending it out and these are also going to be handy for catnip as well my work at catnip I can also mount it to like my top and stuff it's only half nine I can't believe I've lasted this long without a nap though this is the first since I've came back from Canada hello guys so I've just done a little talk in town for catnip and I thought we'd go charity shopping together for Florida to see if there's anything anything exciting so yeah let's go charity shopping I am back, I got my nails done, it is the morning and tomorrow we go to Orlando. I've laid out all the pre-max stuff I got so should we do a little haul? So over here is all trousers and skirts, we have a skater jean, I also got this large denim uh, short, I also have got my first ever denim midi skirt and then next up I got another short which is really cosy, I can either do this on like a lazy day. Over here I then got this cute picnic bath uh, blanket which I absolutely love, so me and Victoria actually doing a picnic day at the boardwalk and we're gonna watch a film on the evening and I bought this because I thought it would also be really good for my pink camper van and then I also got two bath mats which are really really pretty because mine are all moldy and crusty dusty I thought this was a cute new addition I also got this really cute butterfly hair clip I love keeping hair clips on my bag one as a bag accessory to add like a pop of color and two if I want to tie my hair up I can just like scrape it up and in Florida heat I always like scraping my hair up at the end of the day over here I got a bunch of crop tops I got the Naruto one and then I got a Winnie the Pooh one, a little Mickey, like minimalist Mickey and a stitch one and then I also seen this with little bows on and then also more crop tops and vest tops, very Y2K, I used to wear these all the time when I was like 13 years old and I had to go for small, guys anyone who's been like a size 22 to 24 to then wear a small is so ridiculous it is tight on my tummy because of my loose skin however the mediums that i tried on were too baggy up here at my boob area because my boobs are little pip squeaks i also got another little uh, vest top which actually has a really nice like neckline and then i am not the type to wear a crop top and tight leggings because i'm still not confident enough to do that just yet but i will probably pair my leggings with a baggy top because i'm still not fully confident to wear just pure tights stuff but I got pink gray and then I got some biker shorts and then I also got my first pair of joggers like proper joggers these were from the men's sec and they were only six pounds and I'm actually thinking of traveling in these you know because when I went to Canada it just was so uncomfortable wearing jeans the whole flight and I was really hot and stuffy so I just thought some airy nice joggers would just do oh my gosh look what I just found I found my little croissant so I got this munchlin off Dean for my birthday so I need to make this into a little keychain and just like that I got a little croissant keyring 
Did you? Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so cute in the French outfit. All right, I look slightly different than I looked a bit earlier with no makeup on and my eyelashes literally bald as a coop. But I've got my new wig on and I'm going out tonight. <sighs> it's the last night and I'm traveling to London in the morning, but it's actually my friend's birthdays, like a joint birthday party. But I thought I'd show you how I pack everything. I'm gonna be totally honest, right? Since losing weight, I fell back in love with fashion again because I can start wearing things that I never used to be able to fit into before. And as a result, I keep overpacking. Like, the amount of outfits I've got in this suitcase is actually insane. I'm not the type of person to, like, you know, try everything on. It's more like how I feel on the day. Because, like, what if I just want to feel comfy? Like, I really regret the thought underpacking because I went and I took all, like, dresses and stuff to Orlando. And then all I wanted to wear was like slouchy t-shirts slouchy and stuff because the weather was like quite rainy and stuff. I didn't want to wear scratchy dresses. So now I've got like a blend of everything. Look how awful stuff this suitcase is. This is unnecessary. I might have to actually wear this and take some of them out. But anyway, we've got dresses here. We've got leggings and like gym tops here, like crop tops. Then we've got the jeans, which take up a lot of space, don't they? And then we've got cargo pants and skirts. Then we've got spirit jerseys and we've got cardigans to go with the crop tops in case it's cold. But I've got a few different color ways in case. Oh, I also pack rolled up like this because sometimes I don't unpack everything. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But it's really handy to just like pull things in and out but then over here is the fun things i've also got my tech and stuff got all my bag charms i've got all these ears this one is going to be perfect for easter look at this <gasps> so cute i got this from tokyo disney if you haven't seen my tokyo disney vlogs definitely check it out honestly one of the best trips of my life and over here are ears that i've been gifted oh look how sparkly and beautiful they are oh my goodness i also have these two beautiful bags but i don't think i'm going to be able to take this one because it's too big and i've put all my pins in it my bumble button catnip pins but also my little disney pins there look but these are my catnip pins and it's like a bag you can wear and it displays it and this was from 93 moments and she also sent me these bracelet that actually has the famous walt disney quote all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them i think that's so beautiful and she also sent me of the most beautiful spirit jerseys i've ever seen look at the sparkle on that so pretty i can't believe the quality so i will leave a link for all those shops in the description so now i have to somehow pack it in there i think this is the most i've ever packed for disney i need to pack all them another problem i've got is i actually have an allowance of a 23 kilogram case for flying british airways and a luggage wheelie case and like a personal item but the problem is i'm going with the megabus and they are so strict with baggage allowance me and dean have actually watched them refuse people multiple times because they've had like one extra luggage case with them or something so i think what i'm going to do is because you're allowed two bags i'm going to take a backpack and then a chunkier bag like this so it's kind of like a backpack and then my carry-on so i'll take like a chunky one like that as my personal item and it also doubles up as a pillow got this from tk maxx and i will take my backpack as my cabin bag i'll see you in the next one when we will be heading off to london gatwick i'm flying to orlando and it'll be the start of the brand new disney diaries bye, bye. thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye <laughs>